Sex crimes? Yep. Take a look at this. Girl hanged herself from the bed. Name's Layla Briggs. Neighbor said she was generally a quiet, good tenant. Looks like she killed herself. Anything she didn't pierce? So much steel in her, I must set off metal detectors. Not to mention the burn marks. Could be self-inflicted. We got reasons to believe this is anything other than a suicide? Yeah, the robe was tied over her folded arms. Well, that's not impossible. I mean, I'm no Houdini, but, uh, you know, how hard is that? Wait a minute, the robe was open. Did you open it? I was told it was a suicide. I had to examine the body. Did any of your men disturb the body? My first instinct was suicide. The second I thought different, I called you guys. I don't get SNM. I mean, hurt me, that turns me on. Come on, what's up with that? It starts with the tattoos. Once you get the ink, it's just a matter of time before you're begging to be tied up and spanked. Yeah, tattoos are just a gateway to sexual dark side, my friend. You guys have finally figured me out, huh? Seriously, did you get off on the tiny little pinpricks of pain? No, I get that from working with you. Please. Hey, Benson. Yeah. Your prelim on the Briggs victim, you omitted a suspected cause of incident. Yeah, well, the first flush COD was death by hanging, but there were so many irregularities that we wanted to wait to talk to the ME. Uh huh, so homicide or suicide? Uh, we still need more information. They had a baby ME at the scene, and uh, he just rubbed the body. Where did they get these people? The Vic had several self inflicted wounds, or at least willingly endured wounds. Which raises the possibility that this is neither suicide nor homicide. What, rough sex gone awry? Come on, that's the kind of explanation you get from defense attorneys. Hey, it happens. This girl was into some pretty serious paraphilia. She was pierced from head to toe. What, and you're telling me she works on Wall Street? Investment analyst. Those two worlds overlap more than you might think. <laughs> what worlds? s and and high finance? Oh, yeah, the all-consuming obsession to destroy political competitors is uh, no different than the compulsion to harm one's fellow man. Or woman. Layla was the alpha analyst for our derivative financial instruments. Amy, let's pretend for a moment that this is economics or not majors, OK? Insurance companies collect premiums. Some money is used to pay claims. Other money is held in a cash reserve. Layla helped figure out how to invest the rest. Well, how much is that? The cash flows she handled were in the billions. Billions? And did that create enemies for Layla? No, I wouldn't. Well, we're talking about the concentration of power here, Amy. My little insurer's renter's check joins another and another until the trickle of money becomes a flood. That kind of wealth is a threat to the people that want you to stay in line. That can create enemies. First of all, that's not how it works. And second of all, Layla was well liked. Amy, uh, look, we're actually more interested in Layla's state of mind. Was she depressed? Was there a crisis going on in her life? Not that I saw. And what is it that you do here, Amy? I manage the office. My boyfriend, Mr. Martin, owns the company. Did you and he have any day-to-day -day contact with Layla? Very little. We did. Our head of finance, a woman named Sho Ling Fu, worked with her, but uh, she's not in today. We're going to need her number. We frown on incoming calls. They distract from the task at hand. In our line of work, we frown on obstruction of justice. COD is asphyxiation from a ligature around the neck. Just as it appeared. That's a fairly straightforward cause of death. Yeah, but a cause isn't always an explanation. What's your gut on it, homicide, suicide, or accident? I'm not going to declare until I have more information from you. Was she sexually assaulted? Assault is hard to determine. She was penetrated, but we recovered no bodily fluids. Also, the kind of scarring and sexual injury this woman endured for years would send someone to prison, except for one thing. It was self-inflicted. Uh, perhaps. Maybe the terminal injury was self-inflicted. An autoerotic fatality? Mm -hmm. oh, I could see that. But look at this. It's the robe she was wearing. Yeah. It's perfectly clean. No sweat, no soiling. Someone redressed her? Remorseful killer? Well, you know, sometimes family members clean up the scene. The best I can tell, this is the outfit she wore when she died. Mm -hmm. Bodily fluids in all the right places, hers and a man's. I sent semen traces out for DNA comparison. She had a partner during her final performance. So how's that work? She's got a whipping boy with her for some rough sex and he gets carried away? That's one way to look at it, or it's a homicide meant to look like that. So the whipper boiled over. Except no one got whipped. I tested this for epidermal traces, skin from users, but it came back negative. It's in as new condition and it rattles. That's odd. Well, let's open it up, see what's making that sound.
I heard they're pinning this on autoerotic asphyxiation. Terminal sex. Yeah, except autoerotic implies one person. And? The victim wasn't alone. We recovered the outfit she was wearing. Seminal fluid was found on the outside of it. DNA hasn't come back yet. And we found a whip filled with half a million dollars worth of diamonds. Half a million? You should be able to find out where they came from. Go down to the diamond district, show her photo around. We also have her credit card records. She frequented a number of sex and fetish shops. All right, follow up on these and see if you can get the names of any of her sex partners. I know her. But for obvious reasons, we try to protect the privacy of our customers, because the world can be so judgmental of human behavior. Not us. We leave that to the prosecutors. What was your sense of Layla? My sense of her? Uh, first timer. She's a little shy, a yuppie with a wild streak. Not much more than that. Why? We found her dead, trussed up like a latex turkey. My god. We talked about code words, safe play techniques, and so on. I guess that lesson didn't stick so well, did it? Did you know any of her partners? Mm, she came in one time with her boss's girlfriend, but other than that, no. A big redhead? No, brunette. Why? I guess we met a different girlfriend. Where are you on the Layla Briggs case? Well, it looks like a lot of high finance and low urges. She bought the kinky stuff with corporate credit cards, and uh, everyone she works with seems to know about it. On the other hand, she was a financial whiz. She managed a fund for a charity foundation. Charity begins at home, people. For every dollar that goes in the can, 90 cents ends up in somebody's pocket. Well, that's cynical. Well, that's life. The records of a nonprofit are public information, so let's find out what they were really doing. What's that? It's the financial records for your foundation. It seems out of the $18 million you took in, less than $1 million went for charitable works. No. Now you're reading it wrong. Here, look. $14 million for glasses. Kel, anyone can print up a report. We talk to the bank. There is no such account. They've never even heard of you. What are you saying? You and Layla had a little scam going. She embezzles the money, you sign off on the reports, but she gets greedy. Are you suggesting that I killed Layla? That's not what happened. I knew about the financial irregularities, but I never benefited. Oh, come on, please. It's true. At least not financially. Layla would make certain donations. I would then invest the proceeds with her company. Martin was laundering money. Layla was his bag man. I presume. All I had to do was look the other way. Why did you allow her to use your charity as a front? What was in it for you? We shared certain compulsions. I tried, but I was never able to entirely relieve myself of them. Layla knew me as the human ashtray. We met on the circuit. The nonprofit world is very concerned with appearances. And she threatened to expose you. Unless I helped her. And when I helped her once, that was the thin edge of the wedge. What's the circuit? Various people. The only one with a regular gig is Anna Faust. Did she know Layla? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She knew Layla very well. I haven't seen Layla for four months. But she was part of the circuit. The circuit? Yeah, the underground bondage scene. <laughs> she came to my parties. That is, until she was banished. Oh, what'd she do? It wasn't what she did. She was a submissive. But her master violated my rules, and so both were informed that they were no longer welcome. And this master was? A Wall Street financier with a mean streak. His name is Frank Martin. We know him. How'd he cross you? He hurt one of my girls. What's her name? If I tell you, do you promise to give him the punishment he so richly deserves? Sure, that's what we hope to do. Good boy. 